Hello everybody campers, welcome to your 8th CSS Grid tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to use CSS Grid to make a mosaic layout. Alright, so I think we're getting to grips with how to display elements on a grid and how to lay them out in different ways. So in this video I want to move on and show you something which is slightly more advanced, but not really, and that is how to create some kind of mosaic layout. So as you can see at the minute I've still got this div with an ID of content that's serving as our grid wrapper still. Then we have these five divs right here with a class of one, two, three, four, and five. These are the elements we're gonna lay out onto our grid in some kind of mosaic style. Now at the minute, they all have a background of this kind of charcoal gray and the content right here, all we've done is displayed it as grid and given it a max width. We can take this position of relative off, we don't need that, and a margin of zero and auto so it's centered on the page. So at the minute it's going to look something like this where each element inside that grid is just stacked on top of it. And that's because we've not defined our columns yet. So let's do that first of all, right? I would like to create a grid with six columns. So I'm going to say grid hyphen template hyphen columns. And then we're going to set this equal to the repeat function, first of all. And then inside, we're going to repeat something six times because we want six columns. And each column is going to be one fraction, so all the same width. Then I'd like to set the row height. And to do that, I'm going to use grid auto rows. So grid hyphen auto hyphen rows. And we can set a min max for the height. So the minimum is going to be 150 pixels. Uh, the maximum is going to be auto in case there's any content inside any one of the divs. It's going to auto to that height instead. Finally, I want to give this a grid hyphen gap of 10 pixels. So we have that kind of gap between each one of the columns and rows. So now at the minute, it looks something like this and it's placing one of these elements inside each of the columns. Now we have six in total and there's only five elements, which is why we have a gap on the right as well. So now let's start displaying these elements on the grid in different areas so that it creates some kind of mosaic layout, right? So I'm going to use these classes one through five to do that. So let's style up one, first of all. So the first element right here, where do we want that to sit? Well, I'm going to use grid hyphen column to say where we want it to sit in terms of the columns. And it's going to start at column line one, which is on the very left, and it's going to go all the way up to column line three. So let's take a look at that. It spans two columns over here. Now, I don't only want this to take up one row in height. I'd like this to take up several rows in heights. I want it to go up to row line five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So it means it's going to kind of span four rows in total, if you like. So to do that, I'll say grid hyphen row is going to go from one all the way to five. Save that. And we can see now this take up this height over it. Cool. Okay, so let's move on to the second element. I'll say over here, two, and then inside, I'm gonna say grid hyphen column. Now, where do we want this to sit in terms of columns? Well, I want this to sit from column three, which is right here, where this one ends, remember, one, two, three, and I want it to go all the way up to the end, so column line seven, because we have six columns, and it's always six plus one, if you like, for the column lines. So we want it to go from three, to seven. If we save that, we can view that right here. Now, I also want this to be twice the size in height, so to span over two rows instead of just one. So I'm going to say grid hyphen row and set this from one, which is the very top, to three. So now we get number two over here. Cool. All right, let's move on to number three now. We'll say down here, three. Um, where do we want this to sit? Well, I'm going to say grid hyphen column is going to go from three to five. So this, in essence, is going to sit in the middle of the grid right here. This is column line three, one, two, three, and it's going to go all the way to five. So three, four, five over here, right? So it's going to sit in the middle of the grid, if you like. I also want it to go down so it spans two rows as well, so ends round about here. So I want it to go from the grid row three to five so one two three four five down here so we're going from row line three to row line five so let's say grid hyphen row over here and again we want to go from three to five and we get like a square in the middle now right so let us now do number four so underneath here i'll say four 
And how do we want to style this? Well, first of all, I'm going to say grid hyphen column. And that's going to be from five to seven. And I'll show you what this is going to look like. Five right here, all the way, six, seven to the end of the grid. And I also want this to span kind of all the way down here, about the same height as this, right? So we want it to start right here at row line three, remember, one, two, three. And we want it to go all the way up to row line seven. So three, four, five, six, seven down here somewhere. So I'll say grid hyphen row is going to go from three to seven. All right, save that view over here. And now we can see it spans all the way down here. Now the final element, I want to take up this whole space over here, right? So let's style that. We'll say five. And then inside here, we want the grid column to go from one, which is the very uh, start, all the way up to five, which is going to be over here. One, two, three, four, five, right? So save that. And um, we can see it stretch all the way over here. Now we want to make it twice the size in terms of depth. So two columns instead of one. So we want it to go from grid hyphen column. And we want it to go from column five all the way to seven. So let's view this. And it's not gone quite as I'd expect it to. That's because I've done column twice instead of saying row. So grid row now goes from five to seven. All right. So if we make this full size, we can see this is kind of like a mosaic style now. And this was really simple to do with CSS Grid without any kind of floats or hacky techniques, just placing elements onto a six column grid. That is seriously cool. And if you wanted to, you could get really funky with this kind of design and you could do something like this. I'm just gonna grab the content div again, keeping it separate from the one at the top up here where we style content, just so um, we can see the difference. And I'm gonna say transform and I'll rotate the Z axis by, I don't know, 45 degrees. And then I'm also gonna scale the whole thing down, say by 0.7. All right, so let's view this now. Check this out, we've got some kind of weird diamond shape now. So we can create these kind of layouts. And if you imagine each one of these could be some kind of thumbnail for an image in your portfolio or something, create these kind of things really simply using CSS Grid.